Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club, this time from Dubai, and we are in the headquarters of uh, Hyundai Motor Company uh, here in Dubai, and uh, it's an you know, amazing pleasure actually to be together with uh, Nabil Nachi, uh, who just moved here uh, from Europe. So first of all, Nabi, congratulations, yes. Thank you so much. For your move to the new house, yes, because you moved recently to your new house, yes? Absolutely. First of all, a uh, very warm welcome to you here at uh, the Hyundai Regional Headquarters, uh, Middle East and Africa, here in, uh, in Dubai. Very nice to welcome you uh, here. And yes, I'm very uh, happy and very excited uh, to, uh, to, have been, uh, to have moved here in order to, uh, to push our uh, eco-friendly vehicle business uh, in the region. Yes, so speaking about eco-friendly business in the region, so actually uh, last week we had the uh, World Clean Tech Awards and uh, Hyundai was the company which uh, won the distinction uh, for the most disruptive uh, company in the transportation space, yes. And uh, I think it's uh, quite significant, yes, because uh, Hyundai is known for the electric vehicles, but uh, actually you were telling me that, uh, Tomas, it's not only electrical vehicles, but it's also hydrogen cars. Yes, and then I saw the exciting photos when Cornelius was uh, visiting uh, your uh, uh, headquarters in Germany, and also I think he was driving this big uh, hydrogen truck. Right. Yes, correct, correct. Well, uh, we are having in our uh, portfolio both battery electric vehicles mm -hmm. and also uh, fuel cell uh, vehicles. Uh, because we think that uh, those technologies are not competing against each other, they are uh, more completing each other. And at the commercial vehicle division, we are, of course, pushing the hydrogen-powered uh, commercial vehicles, trucks and buses. And this, is, this was one of the trucks uh, which, uh, which we have shown to uh, Cornelius in, uh, in Germany. Because it's quite interesting because uh, when I was driving here, actually, the first car that I uh, get on the road, it was Hyundai taxi driver, and actually he uh, knew you because he was driving you here uh, to the headquarters uh, once. So uh, Hyundai brand is uh, already present on the market, yes? And uh, so actually, what is your role? Yeah, well, uh, I have been transferred from uh, our technical center in Germany here to the regional headquarters, and I will be leading or I'm leading a new established team, new business development, MEA new business development, which will be responsible, as mentioned, for uh, business development of uh, our eco-friendly commercial vehicles mm -hmm. in the Middle East and in Africa, uh, where we see some uh, some very interesting opportunities, which we would like to realize with uh, some partners. Because I was quite surprised uh, when you told me that uh, you are operating like 50 markets, yes? So yeah, we uh, here from the regional uh, headquarters, we are operating around about uh, 70 markets in ah, total. 70. 70 markets, so around about uh, 16 markets here in the Middle East uh, area and uh, 59 markets in Africa. Yes. All of them are controlled and supported from the regional headquarters here. Ah, so actually it's quite interesting, yes, because also in our club uh, we have you know, people from all over the world, from uh, I think like 90 countries, and uh, it must be uh, quite exciting to you know, have such a diversified uh, customer base, yes? Absolutely. It's also important to understand these customers, to understand the distributor, to understand also the, the culture, mm -hmm. also the business culture, because it's specific also to, uh, to, each, uh, to each country, even mm -hmm. if it's an area, it's a region, but there are some, uh, some differences between the countries, mm -hmm. which, uh, which are very important to understand in order to do the business in the right way. Mm -hmm. And how uh, your experience uh, from Germany uh, will help you heal here on the local market? Well, since I was in uh, Germany in the last 20 years in total uh, in the automotive industry and uh, the last four years uh, at uh, Hyundai uh, Technical Center in Germany, taking care about the Swiss fuel cell truck project we have introduced uh, in October 2020 to Switzerland. Uh, this is kind of success story. We are very proud about this project. The vehicles are running since more than two years uh, without issues. This is the first mass-produced mm -hmm. truck. And this, all this experience, the technical experience, of course, with the vehicle, with the entire infrastructure and the ecosystem, but also how to set up such uh, mm -hmm. ecosystem, how to set up from, uh, from the scratch with different partners coming from different industries. This is what we, we have done in, uh, in Europe, what uh, I have a contribution to that. And I think this experience would be very helpful here and hopefully we will succeed to do such a project here or projects, hopefully, 
uh, similar to Inshallah. this project. Inshallah, like uh, people say here in the region. <laughs> and how uh, the fact that uh, you have uh, uh, Tunisian roots, yes, so you understand the culture here, uh, you think will help you. So let's say that uh, you are like, uh, on one hand, uh, you are working in the strict, uh, let's say, uh, German framework, yes, and now you came also with your uh, uh, Tunisian roots uh, to this region. So you think uh, it can be combined? It can be added? Yeah, th this is a very good question. I think and I hope that will help me uh, because it's very important in this part of the world uh, to understand how decision-making process is. It's, of course, different from other parts in uh, uh, in, uh, in the world. It's interesting to, uh, or it's important to understand the culture, general, uh, generally speaking, what are uh, uh, important things for the people, what are goals, what are no goals. But also it's very interesting, uh, it's very important to understand the business cult uh, culture specific to the regions and having... And even uh, the countries, eh? because you have 70 different... Yeah, uh, yeah. And having, having, having Tunisian, uh, Tunisian roots uh, combined, let's say, with... Uh, the, the strict and straight, uh, straightforward way uh, uh, that I learned in, uh, in Germany. I spent 18 years of my life in Tunisia and 30 years uh, in Germany, so it's uh, an interesting combination. I think this uh, combination of uh, discipline, of uh, going forward the German way, but at the same time mm -hmm. being uh, flexible uh, with the in local flavor. With people with the local flavor, which I gained from my Tunisian's origin, I hope that will help me uh, to uh, to have the right connections here and also to start to initiate the projects in the right way that we will be successful with that as a Hyundai motor company. Yes, and actually it was uh, a very, uh, I would say funny, yes, when we met uh, in Amsterdam because uh, one of uh, our members in the club, uh, Zoyer Kefi, yes, he was your flatmate, yes? Yeah, so I know Zoyer uh, pretty well, so we are both from Tunisia, we uh, both studied in Germany and uh, have, uh, have very good connection and uh, fortunately we are both in a very good industry, so we are trying to uh, mm -hmm. improve our world, we are both in the renewable energy industry. Today we had uh, lunch together and we were speaking about this human-to-human -human relationship, yes? And together we are stronger, yes, which is our uh, slogan, but as actually it's not slogan, but it's our uh, way of making things. And how important this is uh, here in the region. Uh, as you know, to realize uh, hydrogen ecosystem, you need to partner between several industries. This is the industrial part. At the end of the day, all of us need to, uh, to close deals, to, uh, to make money, to make business. But in order to do so, it's important also that we understand each other. Mm -hmm. We understand each other from a cultural point of view, as discussed mm -hmm. before, but also the technical part should understand the financial part. Uh, this understanding is very important. And if it works between the humans, so if the, uh, the DNA works between, uh, between humans, it, it makes mm -hmm. things easier that we understand each other and that we uh, transform our understanding in business opportunities and in concrete projects uh, and agreements we would do. Because what I understood from Hyundai, you see, like a group, yes, not only Hyundai Motor, that uh, uh, you are not just uh, coming to the market uh, to take benefit, but you are also contributing, yes? Absolutely, absolutely. So the Hyundai Motor Group is, uh, of course, much uh, bigger than only the Hyundai Motor Company. We do have uh, different industries in the Hyundai Group, uh, like uh, ship uh, and ferries production, like steel production. We are also active on the infrastructure, uh, on the infrastructure, hydrogen infrastructure. And it's important for us when uh, in the regions where we are active and we are active in uh, almost all the world, that of course we have good relationship with the local people, that we have good uh, relationship with the population, with the, uh, with the government. And this is what uh, mm -hmm. also one part uh, or that will be one part of my job here to connect with the officials here in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, here in UAE, but also in the entire region. Yeah, so it's uh, also like a more relationship, uh, institutional relationship, yes? Not yes. only just uh, dealing with the customers, but yeah, you are bu uh, building the whole ec ecosystem, yes? Exactly, exactly. And especially for the, uh, for the, for the hydrogen powered cars, we, we, uh, we made the experience, the exactly, that you need all of that, that you yes, need yes. all of that, that you need also the regulatory uh, and legislation framework, which mm -hmm. at the end of the day is coming also from, uh, from the government. Uh, and there are, in, uh, there are many ministries in general involved, transportation ministry, energy ministry, mm -hmm. uh, industry ministry, and you need to connect with all of those people in order to establish good projects, which bring, at the end of the day, 
an added value for our environment and an added value to our customers and to the regions we are acting in. Many of the countries in the region, yes, but also in, the, in Africa, they are thinking about their um, strategy towards the clean technologies, yes? So they need not only just products, but first they need uh, help in the regulatory framework, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. So this is also the kind of things that you can uh, propose to our, uh, let's say, audience. Absolutely. Since, since we are active actually in, in many countries, and uh, we, as mentioned, with the fuel cell vehicles or the hydrogen powered vehicles, we are already existing in uh, eight countries with the commercial vehicles uh, ones. We have mass produced vehicles. Uh, we know what's, uh, what's, or we do have the experience what every uh, government is doing in order to achieve, uh, to achieve uh, the, net, uh, the net zero target. And uh, we have the experience from the US, obviously from Korea and also from, uh, from Europe. And this experience we can try to, uh, to transfer or to use at least partly. Uh, the partners here would of course make a cherry picking of the things which are fitting. Mm -hmm. It's important also to, to localize that. It's important to localize that. It's not 100% take over. Mm -hmm. It should it's not fit. copy paste, uh, you should adjust. It, it, should mm -hmm. fit, it should fit to the boundary conditions of the, of the country we are dealing with. Okay, so let's say that if uh, uh, some country uh, would like to uh, build there uh, hydrogen and hopefully not only hydrogen but green hydrogen economy. Mm -hmm. So what would be like, you know, your first uh, in valid points, you know, like puff, 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 what would be your device? Yeah, well, uh, it's important to fix a realistic target, a realistic target which, uh, which uh, fits to the conditions of the, uh, of the country, which fits to the, for example, to the vehicle fleet of the country, which vehicles are already running today on the road. Uh, to the fuels existing, to the fuel price, to the also to the to the financial uh, to the financial situation, to the investment power of uh, of these countries and of this uh, of these companies. So to to make all this setup, to to make a description of the current situation, and then to define could be challenging targets, but realistic targets uh, in terms of uh, in terms of subventions, in terms of taxation, in terms of increase. Uh, of increase of conventional fuels and so on in terms of uh, uh, customs uh, customs fees for for eco-friendly vehicles and so on. So you need to to find the the, the right ones between pushing and also pulling uh, the, those uh, new technologies. Mm -hmm. And then you need to make a roadmap. Yes, yes. how to get to yes. the goal. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you can of course uh, advise the governments to make it happen. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Uh, we have the experience. We are happy. We are more than happy to share uh, to share uh, this experience, which we have in Korea, in Switzerland, and uh, and uh, in the U.S. and in other part, uh, par, uh, parts of the of the world. And we are more than happy uh, to uh, to share this experience. And I think when it's understood, as mentioned, uh, you can take the best cases, the best cases, and the lessons learned. We don't need to make the same uh, mistakes or failures like we did in uh, in other parts. We can just use this experience and progress on that. Okay, so we spoke about, uh, you know, first you need to make a target. So what is your personal target here in the region? Well, okay, my personal target, and uh, it's a good, uh, disc uh, good question because I just uh, discussed that uh, last week with my, uh, with my boss. Uh, with Brian, yes? With Brian, uh, with Brian and with Mark in, uh, in Korea. Since uh, I'm establishing a new uh, team here and we have some success stories in uh, within Hyundai, in Switzerland, in Korea, in Europe, uh, in the US, it's also starting. I would like to be top three. So I'm also realistic. I'm not saying I would like to be here in the Midian region for the, for the next regions. Number one, we have 50 trucks running in, uh, in Switzerland. We are introducing trucks now in, uh, in Europe. We have more than 250 vehicles in uh, Korea running. The US is also rolling out up to 30, uh, 30 trucks. I would be very happy if we, we could, in the next two to max three years, roll out such a project like we have in Switzerland here and increase a little bit. So I will be competing a little bit with my colleagues in, uh, in the US mm -hmm. uh, to get the position, uh, the position three. And maybe in two years or three years, we can talk about other targets. So step by step. Yes, absolutely. And last but not least, uh, in December, we have COP28. Uh, yes. And uh, as Cleantech Business Club, also World Cleantech Awards, we'll have the next ceremony in December. And uh, I think it will be quite significant, yes, because this is the region also which is building the future. Yes. yes. And uh, uh, 
we discussed, uh, I think, in Cairo, yes, about, mm -hmm. you know, when the uh, Hyundai cars will be available. So will it be available, you know, to uh, display at our event in December? We, as Hyundai, we are ready from the vehicle's point of view. So mm -hmm. production is uh, not a bottleneck. We have the passenger cars, the Nexo, we have the trucks, the Action, we have the buses, the uh, Elex City and the Universe. So we are ready from a, a vehicle point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, we need, of course, the infrastructure. We need, uh, we need refueling uh, possibilities. And we are in very uh, concrete discussions with some, uh, some uh, partners here mm -hmm. in, uh, in the region uh, from Abu Dhabi, from Dubai, in order to showcase a few, uh, uh, a few vehicles in the COP28. But it's also important that it's not only showcasing yes, in, yes. Uh, in such an event, but that we continue the business after, uh, after that with, uh, with these vehicles. Okay. So uh, let's, uh, uh, how to say, let's not make it, you know, just like a dream. Yes, yeah. uh, let's make it in action. And I wish you all the best. Yes. Thank you, Thomas. And nice also to meet uh, Brian. Yes, I think uh, you have amazing team here. So let's say uh, that maybe a top three is uh, not so much ambitious. I wish you at least top two. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much. And thumbs up for Hyundai for your award and uh, the most important for the clean tech transformation of the world. And thank you very much for your trust for this very nice award being deserved by all the team in the background in Korea and here who are working on realizing the green mobility mm -hmm. in the Middle East and also in uh, other parts of the world. To make the dream come true. Everybody. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs>